So I say, well, you should have voted for him <laughs> then. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very funny, yes. Governor, let's get down to business. At last estimate, five billion tons of kipples surround this city. Eventually, it's going to have to be cleared away. Elgin, we've got specials to do that job. But the attrition rate is enormous. No, no. There's only one way it can be accomplished. My way. Unfortunately, your way is illegal. For the moment, yes. But laws can be changed. And if replicants were allowed to work on Earth, imagine what your legacy would be. Governor Maurice Colvig, the national hero who eliminated toxic debris. <laughs> Even your opponents will vote for you. How can you possibly guarantee that no tragedies will occur? It's a very simple solution to an old design challenge. Give them jobs on Earth, and they will never desire a different life. That is a lie. Who's there? <laughs> it's one of my children, I think, and a very resourceful one at that. Why don't you show yourself? With pleasure. Call security. Who is this man? I'd like to ask the same question. One more word from him, and he'll be dead. I will not be spoken to! You are certainly a man of your word. I want all the data you have on replicant DNA structures, the mutation studies, everything. Why don't you just take a seat? We'll have a little talk. I don't have time for talk. I wish I could help you. I really do. But the data is useless. The four-year lifespan is unalterable. My friends. My family dying before my very eyes, and all you can say is, there is no hope. Time is precious, my son, and you have been keeping yours well. And when night comes, I'll go to place fit for woe, walking along the darkened valley with silent melancholy. <laughs> If possible. Not exactly the conclusion I had in mind. Have you stationed guards in the mezzanine? Yes, sir, but I mean, after the fall. Oh, don't be a fool. He's not dead yet. His time hasn't come. Oh, God. No. She'd been shot once in the head. At least she died fast. It wasn't any mystery, and if I'd gotten home a few minutes earlier, it would have been me down there on the killing floor. No, it was a message, plain and simple. Crystal was giving me one last chance to disappear, but now I had a little message of my own to deliver. Pick up. I didn't think you were going to answer. Sorry, but I, I was just sleeping. What's going on? Father wants to meet you. He said he's sorry about everything he did, but he was afraid you'd lead the other hunter to them. Where is he now? Out in the Kipple, by the moon bus. Way out, where the tunnel ends. Tell him to stay where he is, until I can find a way for all of us to escape. But I thought we were going away together. Just you and me. Maybe we'll do it after I talk to him. You promise? We could buy a car from that place next to the arcade. A ground car wouldn't get us too far. One of those flying cars would, though. It could take us all the way out to that beautiful lake. You know, the one with the trees and the flowers. Lucy, there's a good chance... I'll meet you there, okay? At the place where he sells the cars. Wait, Lucy... Oh, I love you so much, Ray. Floor
I knew a trap when I saw one. This was Sadiq's work for sure. Nothing else there. You almost got away with it, Slim. And I expected so much more from you. Why'd you have to kill her? Who? The mutt? The artificial pet of a replicant? What'd you think I'd do? Show some mercy? Well, I guess that's why you're there, and I'm here. Now, why don't you explain to me what you're doing out here, Slim? Maybe you can ease my suspicious mind. I'm just checking it out. Just doing a little sightseeing? That's right. Right. And not 50 yards from your pal Clovis and the moon bus you hijacked. You're not convincing me too good, Slim. You're gonna shoot me down right here? It's as good a place as any. Maybe you want to go in the machine now? See if you can answer this question. What a waste. Brother Mon, wondering when you make it out here. Took a little while to realize where I belonged. The maker built you right. What about you, Sadiq? Aren't you a killer? You bet, ma. Human, too. My woman, she be replicant. Tried to get away from a master. A blade runner shot her. I'm sorry. Uh, happened a long time ago. I take my revenge where I can. Help the reps much as possible. The moon bus up and running yet? All it needs is fuel. Clovis wants to see you. Bring you back into family. I say, he prove himself, welcome back. One happy family. There got to be something around here, man. Old reactor cores. Anything still got a glow. The generator, it take almost anything. Expecting you. They're all dead. You're the last one. I wish I could just leave. Just power up this ship and fly away. <laughs> but there's nowhere else to go. And no more time. You want me to feel sorry for you. And what about you, Ray McCoy? <clears throat> After what you did to my family, to my friends. Do not also seek forgiveness. I don't need to. <laughs> I thought I could cheat my destiny. I should have cherished what little time I had instead of wasting even one precious minute on revenge. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are labored day and night. And ease comes never. I see Steel didn't make it. I could have used you about ten minutes ago. You didn't need any help, McCoy. I thought it was all over when Steel showed up. I saw the corpse back there. I never thought she'd turn out to be a rep sympathizer. People are unpredictable. Chief Bryant wants to talk to you. He says you're really ready now. It never ends, does it? Uh-uh. You're a real Blade Runner now. Full retirement bonuses and everything. You've done a man's job, sir. How come I don't feel good about it? Who knows? Buy yourself another animal, maybe. A real one, not a Tyrell fake. She wasn't fake. Whatever you want to believe, McCoy. 